What's good, guys? I'm back. Uh, this time, I'm pretty sure it's just me. So, uh, sorry that I won't have anyone to bounce off of. Uh, it seems like our entire casting roster is just really busy this semester. So, uh, uh, Lamau, I guess. Um, it is looking to be a pretty decent match. Uh, what, what's, what's the school? Columbus. Hold on. Checking, checking stream information. Columbus State Community College. Yeah, Columbus State Community College. I'm so smart. So, and then let's check out some SRs. So it's looking like gold, silver, plat, depending on what role he's on. Gold. People in their private profiles. Cringe. Uh, silver support player. Looking like a Mercy Moira player. A little bit of Lucio sprinkled in there, but not uh, not a lot. So yeah, it's looking to be a relatively even match because uh, UJ's overall SR is probably like silver gold um, overall because like we have we have some plat players, uh, we have some silver players. So yeah, I'd I'd say it averages out to like right around low gold. So it would be a uh, it would be. Uh, a pretty, pretty even match. No spectators. I hope they're joking about the whole no spectators thing. But thanks for joining us again, guys. Uh, I hope the little bit of a break uh, came to be of good use for all of you. I should... Uh... I, I, should, I should probably ask them if neutral spec is fine before uh, they uh, before they uh, complain afterwards. Oh, huh. Jimmy's is whitelisted. Very epic. Love to see it. <laughs> Thanks, Quick Kill. Appreciate it. <sighs> it's so neutral spec. You love to see it. Definitely makes spectating much more enjoyable. Looks like we're good to go. I'll turn the, the mics just a little bit. It does look a little loud, just a tad loud. 
Whoa, what's that say? Does anyone in chat speak Greek? I'm pretty sure that's Greek. Yeah, that, that's that's pi. Uh, that that's X. My my favorite uh Ready my favorite action. Greek letter, X. Oh, I can't get on top of that. Sag. Ooh, but I can I can look at both teams as they come out. Exciting. So it's looking like UJ uh, opted for the double shield comp while uh, Columbus University is more uh, the death ball comp. Rolsey doing his best to poke stuff down. And so yep, as these uh, as these team comps would play out, uh, Columbus is going to get onto the point first, but they're not even going to get control of it before they're just wiped. It's a good first team fight for UJ. Well played. A uh, bit of a risky drop from Rolzy, but it did pan out because Columbus wasn't able to aggress onto him. Uh, so he was just, you know, out there holding down left click, getting value, putting damage down range. Rolsey winning the 1v1 against his DPS counterpart, Captain Fox, defeating his off tank counterpart. Counterpart, excuse me. Must player in uh, a real aggressive position, does opt to back. I would argue that that was a good decision. Very nice dragon, gonna pick up two. And that's gonna be a one team fight for UJ. Uh, tossing next, opting to play Sky Arissa. Interesting strat. Hopefully, it works out for him. Ryan Shield going down, having to play passive. Columbus either risking getting picked or having to play passively until that Ryan Shield regens. The players run across, down on bottom. Wolf does go down. That's a lot of damage off of Columbus's side. Axe goes down to Visor. Pancake Lord not quite able to get the res. Blaze also getting picked. And it's looking like that's just going to be a nice, clean 100 to 0 for UJ. Sheesh! He's nuts. His his slow mo uh, slow mo Hanzo slowzo insane. Love average. Every time you're in chat, you talk about Evan. No idea who that guy is. I I guess I've met a few Evans in my life, but uh, none that are casting here at least. Quick kill on the Widow. Hopefully he can get some quick kills. Oh, I've been baited. No. Pain, suffering. Was hoping he would go for some preemptive logs. Doing his best to destroy that Sig shield and destroy the shield he does. Captain Fox getting... A little low, but he is just in there swaying and being big man. Gets the health back. And gets the pin onto the Lucio. He's in there, but it uh, doesn't look like he's going to get punished. Instead, Columbus is going to be the one punished because there is a Rhine inside of their team. Captain 
Fox now just holding the, the real aggressive choke. Rolzy opting for the sketchy flank. Oh, oh, get out of there, Rolzy. Get out of there, Rolzy. Quick kill picks up Axe. The Captain Fox and Quick Kill both down. Gorf goes down, though, for Columbus. Oh, my. The, uh, the nads on this man. One health, just staring down a dead-eyed... Woo! Staring down a, uh, a dead-eyed Kree. Unfortunate that a few more picks c couldn't come out of that, uh... That shatter. But UJ does still have control of the point. Having to flip passive though, because Rolzy was picked. Good drag from Quick Kill. It looks like that's going to finally give point control to Columbus. Oh, not quite 99. Unfortunate. Captain Fox taking a duel at less than optimal health. Quick kill picking Gorf though on the rat. Tossing next goes down to the fire strike though. Good boot from Must Player. Does deny the shatter, but the Rhine does get a pin. Captain Fox falls to Axe. So not not a lost fight. But uh nah, nah definitely a lost fight. Great heals from Tiny Ultima. Brian does eventually get picked, but uh, yeah, uh, assuming assuming the Zarya dies, there we go. Oh, unfortunate. Some good good uh, nade lobs from uh, from Gorf. Good shot from Rolzy. Ryan doesn't quite touch point, so that's going to be first map for UJ. Play of the game. Good performances overall. A few questionable plays here and there, but uh, just, just just good to see UJ uh, doing what they gotta to get the dub. Ah, oh, we don't even get to watch the fat dragon. So sad. Honestly, Pancake Lord, what a good name. And Gorf. Gorf is also a banger name. <laughs> uh, so I'm curious to see what the next map is going to be. Also sad that we didn't get to see Well. Ilios Well was just fun. Ike involved. 
I like it. I like it. I can want well, definitely one of the the better maps in the game. Granted, I any map that isn't two CP is typically pretty all right. They want Eichenwald, and they are ready. Below average. Glad you uh, you like the the alt account name. Yeah, so it looks like Quick Kill has been swapped out for uh, third degree as well. I failed to mention. I'm sorry. I apologize. Such good music. Sometimes I forget how good Overwatch music is because I have it turned off. <laughs> so what a what a picturesque castle, you know, a little, little little German town. Ready for battle. The attackers. Braurai Mittagskrug. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Gorf ready. Gorf getting it. Meanwhile, UJ. Gathering their defenses, opting yet again for double shield. Just the poke comp of Torb Hanzo. Uh, as, along with Zen and Bap, like they're all kind of poke. It's poking, spamming, and not really enabling the attacking team to get anywhere. Interesting wall. Does force UJ to back, though. Good orbs from Must Player. Lots of free damage. And Rev playing out in the open without his team. Interesting TP. Honestly, I like it. Will he win his ones? Ooh, not quite. Ooh, but Rosie just might. Unfortunately, Rev was in there, just swanging away, doing Reinhardt things. And Columbus will gain control of the first point. Get that payload schmoovin'. Five minutes left on the clock, a lot of time. Must player getting domed by Gorf, as is the nature of Hanzo. You have a head, the arrow is going straight into it. You don't have a head, the arrow is already connected with your head. Ooh, good spray from third degree, though, taking down his counterpart. It's drag. Uh, effectively splitting Columbus, but unfortunately not quite able to do a lot as it was just that tad too slow. Great shots from Must Player. Shatter going right into big old nothing. A strong regroup 
from Columbus. Third degree seeming to have swapped to his comfort pick. I think I would have liked to have seen him TP maybe to that top right high ground there. Just pushing people back, saying if you get too close, you're going to die. And while he's not exactly picking up the kills, the threat of imminent death uh, seems to be enough. Of taking down Rolsey's turret. One issue now, though, is that uh, UJ doesn't quite have the same poke that they did while third degree was on Honda. Good shot on the Gore. Playing a, a little questionably aggressive. Both DPSs are down. Repositioning has appeared to work. Yes, maybe. Just drawing the attention. Wasting a little bit of time. That's all we can really ask for. Being a, a pest, a nuisance, if you will. Woo! Just narrowly avoiding that pin. Doesn't quite have Ray. Gets out of it just fine, though, luckily. How's Rollsy doing? How are his Cheetos being launched? Effect <laughs> Apparently, very effectively. Put a Cheeto in the Farah's mouth, Rolsey. Interesting shield placement. Okay, it goes down. Oof. There's a big slam by tossing next. Uh, and then a big slam from Rev. But it looks like UJ is going to be the one coming out on top with their slam. I guess it's probably Tiny Ultima's job to deal with the Farah. She's the only the only real hitscan character. I mean, Ball doesn't really count. Well, that and the turret of Rolsey. Or at, at least it delay some pushes. <laughs> but, oh, I, oh, it's just, just a cluster that happened there. The Molten Core getting launched. Everyone just burning. Rolsey picking up two with it. Tossing next and Musk player picking one of their own. All in all, a solid defense from UJ. Excuse me. Nice, good, solid defense. And now, it's UJ's turn to attack. <laughs> Believe it or not, Ripley's. River. Oh, you can't get in there. So sad. I was hoping to explore the, the depths of Eichenwald. Columbus going for a hit scan poke comp. 
uh, potentially predicting a Fara of UJs. Maybe. But UJ? Nah, nah, nah. They don't need Fara. They're just putting people on their comfort picks. And this is a comp that uh, that UJ is very familiar with. Just the, the death ball, hold W and hit your shots kind of comp. Let's get a move. Rolzy making some plays, uh, and I'm not sure they're good ones. Uh, deciding that he doesn't want to be where his team's shield is, instead being anywhere where it's not. I'm just opting for the hero play and uh, not quite panning out because... You have to. You just have to click nothing but heads, if if you want the hero play to work out. Somehow you just still winning the fight though. Captain Fox kind of swagging out a little bit. Gorf getting beamed down. Woo hoo! -hoo! Pancake Lord. Disappearing to Tossing Next. Tossing Next disappearing to Columbus. Uh, good right click from Must Player. Luckily the Flash fan not getting anything. But Visor will. Third degree going down a little late to a bit of an unfortunate death for UJ. Delaying things a little bit more. UJ still with 440 on the clock though, so lots of time to work with. Uh, it lo looks like the soldier was slept. Nothing coming out of that bio nade. Ooh, tiny Ultima just having to play cover as best she can. Tossing next with uh, a big juicer grab, but uh, not a whole lot came out of it. I, I guess Rolzy died, that came out of it. Captain Fox swagging out of control, indubitably. Absolute swag master, 420. What a, what a, what a man. Sheesh! Absolute swag master, 420. What a Chad man. Absolute, absolute shrigma male. Ayo, five months. Joe Schmo, 16. Five months. Ayo. Sheesh. What a, what a man. What a Chad. Just absolute Chad man. Truly the alpha of his pack. I can never remember if uh, it's three of five or two of three, so we're going to play the same game that we play every week and ask, are they playing another one? It is three of five, right? I'm pretty sure it's three of five. Yes, I'm right. I'm so smart. I'm never wrong. Do I have a co-caster? Or no? No? Oh. Because I might still be playing. Or does it put in? Oh, yeah, that's fair. I guess you can't go back in. You muggus. <laughs> muggus. <laughs> Hugh Muggus. Two. Humongous too. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> seven captain foxes. 
Sheesh. Why, why are there so many of these people? 80, 86 other Captain Foxes, 20 other Musk players, one other Humongous, 826 Blazes. Maybe there's a Gorf too. What then? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. I, I, I don't know what then. I, I doubt there's another Pancake Lord, though. That's a banger name. It's a one-of-a-kind name. Pretty good. Almost as good as Tossing Dex. <laughs> Go away. UJ <laughs> <laughs> <All right, later. laughs> Built Different says, uh, says Champagne Sheriff. I sure hope none of uh, none of the players are currently watching the stream because I don't know if it's against the rules. But if it is, I sure hope none of them are watching the stream. Hmm. Did they say Havana or did they just? Are, yeah. Okay, yeah. So we're playing Havana next. Exciting, exciting. And quick kill and tossing next. Both out. Throwing it back to last semester of, uh, of UJ Orange. Looking like the starting roster of UJ Orange. Good times. There are no co-casters below average, below average. Like the reason I'm casting by myself is because I have to cast by myself. I want a co-caster. Someone co-cast with me. But no, they, they just, there's just no other casters. I'm the only one. People people either are playing currently or they have like rehearsal or or work or labs. I, I'm I'm just the only one that isn't doing anything at, at this point in time. But that means I get to be with you guys. And it's always a, a banger and a half time when I'm with you guys. I I hope the feelings are mutual. <laughs> uh, I know they're not. It's okay. How many viewers we got? Four viewers? Sheesh. What is taking people so long? Okay, UJs are. Columbus also are. And in we should be going. Uh, well, I'm just a prophet. Traveling to Havana. Initiating is that a J3 emote? Yeah, that is a J3 emote. Uh, yeah, I suppose, I suppose you're probably right, Champagne Sheriff. The taller, the Sebastian. Wait, what's, what's the get? Oh. Havana. Miranda. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Viola Iorsino. <sighs> Rolls he on the legs? What crimes will he commit? Rolls he tap strafing all over the map? 
He's too fast. We can see him, but he can't see us. DJ opting for it, the high poke comp. Meanwhile, Rolzy is playing the off angle. Ooh, Rolzy kinda hard doming his counterpart. I, I, I don't want to be rude, but that seemed unfair. Rosie realizing that he will get an arrow uh, placed into his mouth if he challenges that too hard. Good picks onto both Blaze and Pancake Lord. Both supports down for Columbus. Columbus having to back. Good orbs from Musk player. Just Zen things. A lot of average would appreciate that. Rip quick kill indeed. Rip literally all of my co-casters. Except Pot of Greed, I guess. And this special guest Downey we had earlier. Big perp nade. And good sleep. Bit of a questionable drag. And Rolzy just doing his best to stall. Because uh, you don't really want to get caught behind the team. So him dying there actually is proper. Um, I mean, arguably, he should have done it a little sooner. But uh, still the correct idea. The bongo comes down from Humugus. And Columbus just having to LOS for fear of getting blown the heck up. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the little bongo looking thing that Humugus did place down uh, increases the damage uh, of all of your abilities and your primary fire by 50%. Ooh. Gorf realizing that a lot of UJ uh, was out of place and just hard capitalizing on it. Really good situa situational awareness from Columbus there. Hello. So UJ just regrouping. Third degree almost getting picked. Tiny Ultima does get picked. Real unfortunate considering the fight hadn't even started yet. Wolf rips Deadeye. Nothing comes of it. But UJ wasn't quite contesting point. And so now Columbus is going to have four and a half minutes left to press on to third. Now third is definitely easily the hardest point in Havana. But with... 420 left, you know. That's uh it's a lot of time to do it. Not quite able to hit the shots, and that's a lot of free damage, including the death of third degree. I'd like to see Musk player rip his uh, trance soon. ZJ is getting aggressed on pretty hard. Blaze does go down to Humongous. Trance is into grab, though. And I'm sure that is what he was holding it for. So well played by Mr. Musk player. And the 
Yeah, and a stagger too. That's a big deal. Three minutes left on the clock. UJ with visor and then 70-ish percent on uh, nano and gravitic flux. Meanwhile, Deadeye and Nano on this side of Columbus. Captain Fox picking off Axe. That's a big deal. That's a lot of tankiness, uh, a lot of survivability, and a lot of damage removed off the side of Columbus. Now you just have to play properly. LOS the Deadeye. And it, it looks like he canceled it. Not as big of a flux, I'm sure, as Captain Fox would have liked. But it got the job done nonetheless. Rosie also picking one up with his visor, a second with his pure aim and skill. The logs connecting for third degree, but not quite being placed uh, into the skull of Columbus. So, just aiming a little higher. I think would end fights a lot faster. Gorf getting blown up by uh, by Sig left click and an arrow and a helix rocket all at once. Third degree also picking off Blaze. So a minute 12 left and UJ putting up a really clean defense here on third. So I'm sure third degree is just going to be using this drag defensively. Good pick from Musk player onto Rev. Rev overextending a little bit. So the drag splits the other team. But unfortunately, a nanoed rallied uh, rig is just unkillable. Like, like borderline legitimately unkillable. And third degree, uh, apparently forgetting that visor auto aims. Rosie putting in a lot of damage, not quite able to pick anything. Rosie picking up two. Hopefully picking off Wolf, someone picking off Wolf, right? So Columbus with a pretty respectable attack here almost uh fully capping on havana which is like not not a small deal pushing eh, that far in on third is is kind of, yeah it's it's a big deal capping on third is really hard so uj definitely has their work cut out for them with the attack of their own I'm ready to kill. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. I'd be very surprised if Rosie stayed on Widow. Yeah, especially seeing the, the double shield tanks here. What a strange and fascinating molecular makeup. It could be worth examining. No, thank you. Rolsey is staying on Widow. Okay. Mm, 
Yeah, that's what happens when you, you TP onto a man that has flashbang. You get flashbang. Good sleep onto the brig and she gets blown up though. Very large pertinate onto Arissa and uh, and Mercy. Third degree picking up Gorf. So good first point for UJ. Uh, will Columbus get a recontest? Potentially. Yeah, it's looking like they're going to get a last minute recontest. Unless they don't opt for it. I guess. Mm. Woo! Rosie loves playing with fire. Luckily for him, Wolf whiffing the uh, the flash onto him. Ripping his visor. Pancake Lord ripping Valk as well. Herping both the soldier and uh, and the mercy. But nothing quite coming out of that. Wolf goes down, but Musk Player falls as well as Humongous. And that's just going to be a reset for UJ. Third degree staggering uh, a little bit more than I think was ideal costing UJ a few extra seconds. Massive sleep onto Gorf though. He should get absolutely blown up. Gorf is dead. Rolsey is dead. The Nano! The Beyblade! Let's fight an epic battle, face off, and spin the metal, no time for doubt, now no place for backing down. Ah, uh, love to see it. Rosie picking off his counterpart. Third degree just in on these tanks. Holding left click and being right on a tank. That, uh, yep, that'll, that'll do a lot of damage, I think. Third, de third degree and quick kill. A little less than healthy. Third degree does get the orb as well as the health pack, though. That eye comes out from Wolf, doesn't quite pick anything. Ripped uh, Pratch a little bit too early. Good trance from uh, Musk player there. Effectively negating the Gravitic Flux. Great Flux from Captain Fox. The Valkres is going to effectively deny Captain Fox's uh, ult, though. Gorf is going to pop off with two. Rolzy is going to reset. Oop, and it looks like there was a DC of, uh, of Columbus's off tank. So, a little unfortunate there. But, UJ not too far away from their goal. So, while, uh, while Rev is reconnecting... Um, can I do anything? No, not, not, not really. 
I guess we can analyze the game state. That's exciting. Uh, also, one unfortunate note is that uh, when Rev comes back, he is going to be at 0% zero, uh, 0 ult progress. So, uh, uh, and he he did just use his ult not that long ago, so he's only losing, like, I don't know, probably 15%. But that could still matter, depending on how drawn out the next few fights are. Rosie does also have Visor going into the next fight, so it looks like uh, if the fight lasts long enough, UJ will have both Visor and Beyblade. His router got unplugged. Yeah, big F indeed, quick kill. I wonder. Aha ha! DMCA free music.
Aha, we're back. Big hook onto Captain Fox, but doesn't quite send him off the edge. So he is in a real inopportune spot. But, Axe is going down. Captain Fox makes it back alive. That's a massive deal. Third degree getting picked by Wolf. Wolf going down, though, to the onslaught of primary fire. Trance comes out from Blaze. Rosie's visor picks Pancake Lord. Rev going down. Ooh. Yep, we we tank those. We're good. And the Beyblade finishes off Gorf. That's going to be the series. Sorry for that. Uh, for that b bit of uh, an intermission right towards the end. But uh, yeah, you know, not much you can do. All in all, great series from both teams. Fun to watch, evenly matched. Honestly, probably be a good scrim partner too. So if any, any of you guys are watching, you should you should pitch the idea to your coach or, or admin or, or whoever you guys have. But yeah, great series from both teams. <sighs> oh, just so happy that, uh, ah, yeah, see, R Rosie in the, in chat asking if they'd be open for scrims, um, yeah, I'd love to see the, the Beyblade getting ripped, always a good time, and I think that is going to conclude our stuff for tonight so if you watched the rocket league stream earlier thank you for stopping by uh if uh you you watched i don't know the the majority of this if you didn't watch the majority of this shame on you because it was a good series uh but thanks for stopping by if you're here now um and we are going to be streaming the valorant game tomorrow at uh Three, I want to say. Let me let me check that real quick because I know it's posted on Instagram. Uh, you guys should also follow us at uj underscore esports on Twitter, Instagram, uh, and right here on Twitch. Um, yes, three o'clock tomorrow is what it's looking like for the Valorant stream uh, to be well streamed. So that unfortunately isn't going to be live just because we have the overlap in competition, but uh, it's still going to be the first time it's broadcast, so be sure to stop by um, if you're curious in watching Valorant at all. Wednesday, there is a League of Legends at 7. Yes, League at 7. Um, and then Thursday, there's going to be Smash at 6. Uh, big news for Smash, too. Uh, if you guys... Uh, are from the area, uh, we are hosting a live smash uh, broadcast, basically, um, in the Hanson Gym on Thursday, starting at, uh, at 5, I believe. Uh, so the players are going to be playing in the gym on a big screen. The audience is going to be there. Uh, our casters are going to be casting live, including myself, and it's going to be really hype. So if you guys can be there, I strongly encourage you guys to be there. It's going to be a really, really good time. And yeah, I think that wraps up the stream for tonight. Uh, great series, like I said, and I think we found a potential scrim partner, so that's exciting. Uh, be sure to follow on all of our social media platforms as well as right on here. Subscribe if you so wish. It helps support the stream. So do donations with that little QR code that uh, just, just went away on the stream. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by, guys, and have a good night.